Hello guys and welcome back to Shadow Gaming. Um, click the bottom left annotation to uh, subscribe and the bottom right one to see any of my other videos. That's if I do get this working in this video. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, today we're playing um, Custom Zombies on Call of Duty World at War on a PC. This is a brilliant, brilliant game. I absolutely adore this game. Um, and I would suggest you buy it. It's a brilliant game with amazing, amazing maps. It's got a decent campaign. Unlike most Call of Duties, it does actually have a decent campaign. Um, yeah, so we're playing Custom Zombies as I thought it would be something different, something new, something that I haven't actually done on this channel yet. Because, to be honest, I've only been sticking to like GTA and Minecraft. Which kind of sucks, to be honest. I think I started Farming Sim. <laughs> farming Sim 2015. I'm going to be carrying on with that, that's on my recording agenda after this. Right, so um, yeah, this is a custom map called Area 51. It has a Bible ending, it is just an all-out good map, especially for those who are starting, who are just starting um, zombie modding. It's just a good of good example of a very simple yet brilliant map. And um, if you're not very good at Call of Duty, this is somewhere to start, as it is not the most difficult of maps, as it is a very open area map. It's a very open, quite airy map. I mean look, there's hardly even anything in this room. Wait till you see the next one. And don't forget, if you like what I'm doing here with the um, <coughs> zombies, don't forget to leave in the comments that you like it and you want to see more of this and if you want to see more then You'd have to let me know, as I will do that for you guys. Oh. I won't concentrate. Give me a sec, guys. My phone went off, and I had to check it. And as I was checking it, I weren't paying attention, and the zombies just decided to run towards me. So yeah, this is an absolutely brilliant game, and uh, I highly suggest that you get it, because I absolutely love this game. I think it's very good for its price and how old it is. I mean, this is a old, old game. I think this was like... So every year they release a Call of Duty. This year, no, last year, sorry, was Advanced Warfare. The year before that was Ghost. That was 2013. 2012 was Black Ops 2. 
Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 1. So this was like 2008, something like that. 2008? I'm thinking it's around then. As this is the fifth Call of Duty. Um, with some of the maps you do get custom guns as well and some of those guns look pretty cool um, sorry guys my mouse is packed in why won't you click there we go that was really weird what the hell is up with my mouse Give me a second, guys, while I switch mouse, because this is ridiculous. Right, so, turn that one off. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not again. I just fixed that mouse yesterday. This is what it kept doing last time. I know this is, like, a very weird thing to be doing in the middle of a video, reaching behind the back of my computer and changing a mouse, but... Sorry if there's a loud buzzing. But it has to be done. Oh my god, this mouse is so ruddy small. And it's cold, I need to warm up the mouse. Did I link this? No, I didn't. I just got cookies on my desk. That's it, I need to buy a new mouse. I cannot play with this little mouse. If I die, guys, then that'll be the end of the video. It's really just a little look at this map and to show you guys what it's like. A little, like, quick look at it. Yeah, there's a Bible PPSH on the wall over there. Um, there's a, another room. Um, if you go through the teleporter, there's another room. Uh, there's also one more room um, behind the door over there, which only consists of the uh, mystery box. So not much. Um... We're also going to be playing a map called Airport today. These all, sh this video should be up on the 17th of May, 2015. But if they're not, then I apologise. But they should be up today. The tracking on this mouse is terrible. Actually, it's not too bad. So yeah, really the idea of this map is to get as many points as you can and escape or to survive as many rounds as you'd like. You can do it either way. But what we're aiming to do is escape. We want to escape, we don't want to stay here. We want to get out and live. So that's what we're going to be working on. 70 FPS, wow. Well, 75. For an all-in-one PC, that's pretty good. But it drops to 50 as soon as I shoot a bullet, or the round starts. Right, and... Juggernaut. Right, we're going to upgrade our... MP40 to the afterburner. Just for uh, safety. 
we're going to be using the PPSH as it has uh, low damage but is very fast firing so that equals more points Well, in my mind, that equals more points. I mean, look. I know what I should do. Run, 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 run. <laughs> Buy it. You get, like, buyable double points and everything. But I think you can only use it, like, once a round or something. Reload. Right. So yeah, um, this map is quite easy if you're a beginner to zombies. Um, it's quite a simple map, really. So we're going to run around with our afterburner just because it's got high damage. And if we get into trouble, that is a easy place to start. Now, uh, Quick Revive on this isn't enabled. So if you're playing on solo, then there's no point in buying it because that just happens. Right, so guys, um, that's how far we got, but... It seems I got quad swinged in one bloody hit. Um, but, yeah, there is a Bible ending. You saw all, all the rooms apart from the one with the mystery box in. I think this is an amazing map. I just accidentally got downed. I don't understand how, but I did. So, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, my friends.